the most promising category of solutions is one that we haven't really seen in practice so far. And it's going to be, so we know by now that discrete program search works really well. It's really, and it was, it was basically what I expected um, when, I, when I launched Arc, and this has been confirmed. Um, this, is, this is probably, uh, at this time, uh, the, 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 the easiest way to, to solve Arc. And now we also know that LLMs can, in fact, develop pretty good intuition about how to solve Arc tasks. And the next step is, gonna, is going to be to bring the two together, right? It's, gonna, it's going to be to do something like discrete program search augmented with uh, deep learning driven intuition, right? Uh, so intuition over um, the sort of... Uh, uh, um, so basically, the, when you're doing discrete program search, you have to sift through this massive uh, program space. And, and you, you, you're doing so uh, typically in a, in a very naive fashion. Uh, you're basically doing brute force search. It's like uh, you, you try, you start, you start from one grid, and then you're like, well, I have all these different options uh, for what I could do with my grid. Like I, I could do rotation, I could do a symmetry, I could change the color of this pixel, and so on. And um, you're basically just going to try them all. And then you are, you're at a, a new point in grid space, and then you're going to try everything again, and so on, and so on, at certain depth, until um, and, uh, until basically you, you run out of resources to try more things, because the problem you're facing here, of course, is combinatorial explosion, right? Um, and what you can do with deep learning, if you manage to get uh, a model, a deep learning model that has a pretty good sense um, of what an arc task is supposed to look like and what the solution to an arc task is supposed to look like, then you can use that deep learning model uh, to provide suggestions as to where to try next, or to provide suggestions as to uh, what should the sketch of your solution program look like. And I think because this is a, a category of approaches that very few people have tried, there's actually a lot, a lot of flowing fruit right now. There's a lot of uh, cool stuff you can do with relatively little efforts. And I'm very convinced that this is the domain from which we're going to see uh, the highest quality solutions over the next couple of years.